Steve, here at the indoor centre up at Headingley, and we've had a pretty intense morning, bleep yeah. tests and other, other activities. How, how are you feeling after all of it? Uh, pretty jaded, to be honest. Uh, still a bit tired, but uh, yeah, it's all part of the game nowadays. It's uh, becoming more professional, uh, quite rightly. Uh, and so we have to do the, put the work in. Obviously, over the course of the winter, you've been training, I understand, four times a week since yep. November. Correct. And uh, you know, it's the sort of thing you need to put that in now to reap the benefits pre-season and also into a pretty pretty long season. Yeah, I think so. If you see, uh, like you look back on last year, how it went to the last game of the season, there was us not Somerset all kind of fighting for that top spot. So it shows how important it is to, to keep up your fitness and keep up your strength so that come the end of the season, you're still as strong and as, as able as you are at the start of the year. And obviously from the strength and conditioning guys here that are helping you out, they're keeping an eye on you, but it also helps if you understand more about yourself going through testing like this. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously as you get a bit older, you learn a bit more about your body anyway. But uh, with it being a bit more professional now, uh, you learn a bit more about the requirements and stuff, and it helps you going into the season. You had a pretty good season last year, some important uh, wicket hauls, five wicket hauls, and, and also some, some batting. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> we'll yeah. get carried away. Some, some key roles there, but um, obviously playing cricket, it, it, it's, it's big business these days. Um, how would you find your sort of role within the team now? Are you pretty happy where you are, or have you got sort of further targets to, to look at uh, next year? Well, I, I, love, I love where I am now. It's great. As kind of growing up, you obviously want to play for your home county and whatever. And I had a few years of being in and out because obviously we had the superstars with Goff, Hoggard, uh, Cruz, Craig White, those kind of people. Uh, which hard to kind of compete against as a youngster, but obviously now kind of breaking into the team and getting a, a regular place was, was very pleasing. But like you say, I want to push on and, and hopefully progress and, and have a more successful year individually and obviously as a team, try and pick up some silverware and see what leads on from there. You mentioned some very experienced players there. Of course, I'm sure you're always drawing on their experience. Of course, this year you've got the extra experience of Ryan Sidebottom being part of the team. So yeah. that must be a welcome addition to the changing room. Yeah, it is definitely. Uh, Obviously last year we, uh, we did reasonably well, we had a young side, but uh, with Ajmal and uh, Tim Bresnan doing so well with England, especially this winter, we can't uh, rely on them being around much next year, so we have to take that into account and someone with Ryan's kind of experience and ability is, is priceless to us. Just talking of the two England uh, colleagues there, if you like, or Yorkshire colleagues, so they're playing for England. How, what, what have you taken the World Cup so far? Enjoyed it? Uh, I haven't actually watched that much of it because we've been training so much. <laughs> uh, but no, we, we started all right. Obviously, people say it wasn't too convincing against Holland, but at the end of the day, we won, and we won by six or seven wickets. And uh, we showed against India, who were kind of rated as the favourites, that we can compete with them. So I see no reason we can't go on and be successful. And Tim, of course, had a, had a great game, taking five wickets in that, yeah. really, really well, very important. Yeah, he did, yeah, I watched that. And uh, it was his first five-wicket haul, as far as I'm aware, internationally. And it was brilliant to see him doing so well. He's, He's always had the kind of the ability and stuff and he and kind of this winter he seems to have had more more of an opportunity and kind of more responsibility in the England side and it just shows how how we can cope with that really. Fantastic. Okay, well, listen, we know you're a man of other talents as well. I understand you're running the marathons this year? I've done it already. I've done it already. Brilliant. It was it was uh, last November. Uh, yeah, I did the uh, New York marathon for charity. Uh, which is tiring, but a great experience. That's a good warm-up for the uh, bleep test we've had just here. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I like to say anyway. I don't <laughs> think Tom was too impressed. <laughs> Fantastic. And also, I understand a few years back, you also played on the slopes of Everest. Yes, yeah, we did. Uh, there's a few of us from the PCA went over there and we raised some valuable money for a great cause. And uh, let's have a game of cricket in the process. Good. Well, hopefully appealing to a wider audience and uh, the crowds will be back again heading into this year to see you all perform. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good season for Yorkshire. Yeah, hopefully. I think we, we did pretty well last year with a, an inexperienced side. So if we can build on that experience and, and keep working hard, there's no reason we can't go one step further. Fantastic. Well, listen, we wish you well in the summer. More five-wicket halls and let's, uh, let's see Yorkshire top table again. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks.